Welcome to Chronicles of Comfort. Our reading of comfort is taken from 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. Phyllis Wheatley was born in Gambia in 1753, but around the age of seven, her life changed forever. A slave ship was sent to Senegal to buy slaves, and she was transported to America. She was purchased by a Bostonian named John Wheatley as a gift for his wife, Susanna, who was mourning the death of their seven-year-old daughter. She was purchased by the Wheatleys and stripped of her African identity and renamed Phyllis after the slave ship that brought her to America. Phyllis was afforded some rare opportunities. At a time when slaves were strongly discouraged from being literate, Phyllis was allowed to read and to write. The Wheatley's children helped Phyllis learn English and Latin in order to study the Bible. As her skills flourished, she soon began studying poets such as Alexander Pope and quickly developed into a poet herself. In fact, she wrote her first published poem at the age of 12. In 1773, she published her first book of poems, becoming the first published African-American woman. Although she was an enslaved person, she was one of the best-known poets in pre-19th century America. Since Inauguration Day in January, there has been a renewed interest in poetry. But there are a few old books of poetry I want to remind you of. These five books of poetry can be found in the Bible. Among them are the books of Proverbs and Psalms, which impart wisdom and provide guidance for our everyday life. But our Heavenly Father wants us to be so well-rounded. So in addition to those books of poetry, there are many books which he has given us so we can be proficient in many ways. Our Lord wants us to read his good book and he wants us to do more than just a casual look because he has placed messages there for you and for me. There are many love messages he will like us all to see. The prescription for a good life is at our hand. In the Bibles, there are many things he wants us to understand. So why don't you read some of those pages today? But before you do that, let us bow and pray. Heavenly Father, we are thankful that you have given us your divine poetry. As we read, inspire our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being with me today, and as always, may the Chronicles of the Bible provide comfort and salvation 